Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. Just want to show you this little thing right here. This is for MRA reading and writing light ohms, full dumps. Um, I put this little wire right here, have it on a pin header. Go ahead and put that back on. Uh, basically, I just use double sided tape to stick it on the serial port here. And it goes up to the motherboard, which is right here. Has to be prepared the exact same way. You'll notice that the switch, the button is connected here. Still the two cuts here and the cut down here. Still have to loop those and connect this. And then it goes down here into the extractor. Let's go ahead and get set up and I'm going to show you guys how to dump that real quick. So we have our board right here. We are going to turn on the CK3. We're going to come up here. We're going to go to refresh. It's going to tell us it's got it right there. Then we're going to come over to device intro. Again, we're going to stop on this screen. <laughs> and I'm going to do this with three fingers. Here we go. So, I'm going to make sure that I have the mouse on OK. It's on OK. Then I'm going to turn off the drive. I'm going to hit the button on the tack switch. I'm going to hit OK on the mouse. I'm going to turn on the drive. I'm going to release the tack switch. Notice it's telling us our info. This is a windbound, so obviously it works windbound. It's already done. Let's just hit save. And there you go. Even, you know, obviously that's just a firmware dump. It's not legit firmware, but that's just showing you how it works. So we're just going to turn it off. We're going to go back over to MTK Flash. We're going to turn it on. I'm going to refresh. It's there, and one more time, I'm going to show you by hitting the buttons down here. Okay, so let's get a good angle here. We got my mouse on yes. I'm going to turn off the drive, hit the switch down, hit yes, turn on the drive, release. And there you go. We'll save it as two. And there you go again. <clears throat> it's really easy to do. It makes it a little bit easier. You know, you can rock your fingers back and forth. So you don't have to, you know, go over to the toggle switch that would be on the motherboard before. Uh, the same connection is made, except you're just using a toggle switch. The uh, tag switch, you got to hold it down. Then turn on the extractor or your CK3 whatever your powering device would be then release the button and it should give you status 72 and you should be good to go and since the video was done with a windbound with a windbound uh, light on obviously it works with windbound as will it work with the others that I can't think of right now Carolina Gamer out